I love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> What's good point about marrying a Korean man? <laughs> hmm. Do you think? Hmm. Let me think. Wait, 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 Hello, Sebi. Do you think Muslim girl can marry a Korean guy? Many subscribers asked me this. Honestly, marrying a man from certain country might be a bit of strange question, but actually, I was really wondering too if a Muslim girl can marry a Korean guy. Because to marry a Muslim girl, Korean guys have to convert to Islam. I will tell you later, it's really not easy in Korea. But go back to the question. The answer is yes. Because I'm going to interview right now Muslim girls who married Korean guys. So I will ask about the marriage life and whether their Muslims convert to Islam and if they really keep the rules of Islam, then here we go. Hello guys. Here is Jay Kim and here is Ahlan. Ayah Salah. Ayah Salah. 네. 아야 그리고 살아. 살아. 어. 네. 그 아까 아빠 이름. 그거 다 살라요? 아빠도 살라고. 살라도 살라고. 어, today's topic is how is marriage with Korean guy? So, I will ask some questions that you can wonder. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, hello guys. My name is Aya. I am I'm 26 years old, I guess. <laughs> 맞아요. 92. So. Yeah, okay. Right. I'm from Egypt. And I've been married to a Korean guy for five years, or four years. Four, four years. years. <laughs> My name is Ahlam. I'm from Morocco. I'm 23 years old, and I'm married to a Korean. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm curious that how did you meet your husband? We met when I was back in Egypt, and he was uh, there studying. I used to live with Korean um, Korean students. And he was their uh, sombe, and that's ah, how senior. Yeah, yeah, he was their senior, and oh. that's how we we met. And at first we were just friends, and then mm. kind of escalated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I met him through the friend in common, so meeting. Uh, I got to know him for a short time. After that, like he liked me, I like him. Yeah, he wanted to propose for me, but that time I had to come back to my country. Uh, we were just talking, chat, and video calls like every day. And after that, we got married in December. I think that's really brave that you decided to get married and come to Korea. Because of love. <laughs> <laughs> so next question is, were there any objections from the families? Not his family, I guess. His family were more open about the relationship, but my mom really wanted me to marry an Egyptian person, and she was kind of against me living abroad, so she was afraid that I would never come back. So, yeah. So. Right now, there's okay. there's no objection at all. Like, I guess my mom loves him more than she loves me, so yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what mothers do. Yeah. <laughs> there was no one who said like no, I don't want like that. Wow. I'm so thankful for that. My parents are open-minded. The only thing they wanted, I should get married to a Muslim. Of course, they want to meet the man I'm going to marry with and get to know him. So the moment we got engaged in Morocco, my husband stayed a week in our house. Oh, so they got to know each other. Like oh, my wow. parents saw him, he saw them. Yeah. He was so polite with them, respectful. Oh, yeah. They love him so much. Like uh, your family yeah, love him too. Yeah, they like my husband. Like there's, oh. yeah, we're saying like I'm their daughter. He's <laughs> theirs. Like. Wow, and okay. from my husband's side, his family understand. They were okay. They didn't say like no or something. I was a little worried. My mother-in-law, they like, oh no, she's worried or something. But no, she was so oh. understanding. He encouraged him. Yes, do it. Do what you want. If mm. that makes you happy, good luck. Uh, I'm so glad to hear that no one opposed and they glad you're married. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I'm curious that how is life in Korea as a foreigner wife? I think life in Korea is really fast. fast. And yeah, it's really, really fast. You have to push yourself to like learn new stuff to be better and yeah, right. a lot of competitions. Mm. 그리고 사람들 항상 바빠요. 맞아요, 맞아요. 이집트는 좀 나아요? 
It's different. Like, in Egypt, everything is very slow. You don't feel the pressure in Egypt as you, you feel it in Korea. Well, the life in Korea is very comfortable. I like just how much it, Korea is safe. Even you go uh, late time, there's no need to worry. I like the internet. Internet? <laughs> in yeah, it's still fast, right? <laughs> yeah, the coffee shop. <laughs> Transportation. Oh. Yeah, I like how Korean people are kind. Like foreigners, if you ask them something, they like to help you and stuff. Well, there are many good things yeah, yeah. <laughs> to living in Korea. Yes, I like Korea. So I think this question is that you can wonder. Mm -hmm. Did your husband convert to a Muslim? Uh, yes. In order to marry with a, a Muslim girl in any of the Arabic countries, you actually have to convert to Islam. Mm -hmm. So so yes, he converted. I'm curious that how to convert? First, you have to go to the mosque uh -huh. and then you have tours about like uh, Islam. There's documents. A and then they give you the document after uh -huh. you, you know, fulfill the, the required hours. Oh, that's it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yes. After he got to know me, he knows that it's like a duty to become a Muslim. Mm -hmm. If you're not Muslim, you cannot marry this yes, Muslim right. girl. So he just had to convert. That's so cool. Oh. Like I'm his wife. I'm Muslim. So he also Muslim. We're Muslim family. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. really not easy to meet Korean who can accept Islam. Like, yeah, yeah. It's not easy. It's nice. So does your husband understand Islam well and abide by Islamic law? Well, actually. His major in college was mm -hmm. Arabic language and Islamic studies. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I feel like he understands Islam even better than I do. Oh. So yeah, because he, he studied it uh, professionally. So yeah. Oh. yeah. Yes. And I was like, I, the first time I saw that, like he respects it and follow like Islam. I was very surprised. I was thinking maybe it's hard for him first, but he was really trying hard in everything. Every so he doing it for work yeah, no, no, and no. haram and fasting. He did. Yes. Wow. Guys, I will tell you about this later. It's really not easy for Korean guys. Even for Muslims. Like, yeah, even for I'm Muslim. Muslim. The yeah. first time I try, I was trying to fast. Like mm -hmm. in Ramadan, the first time it's become easy for me. Mm -hmm. It was so hard. I, yeah. I was going to die that day. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, yeah. You even can't drink water. No drinking, yeah, yeah. no smoking, no eating, nothing. That's really interesting. You really follow the Islamic law. The important thing is he tried to follow and study about your culture and religion. I learned about his culture, learns also about my culture. Mm. Like that. So I'm curious that what's good point about marrying a Korean man? <laughs> hmm. Do you think? Hmm. Let me think. Wait, 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 I think Korean guys are really sensitive in a good way like they're really sensitive about what the girl feels like what their partner feels and from my experience he's really respectful of my choices he's really supportive of me almost everything that I chose he was like okay go for it you can oh. it's really supportive and they're really romantic they're more um, they can take care of their lady uh, I guess I think well, you said the Korean man. Well, it doesn't depend on Korean man or mm -hmm. any other country because it just depends on the people. Mm -hmm. But like in my case, my husband is very kind, polite, cute and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> He's a gentleman, like mm -hmm. I can say. He respects me, he supports me in everything I want. He likes what I like, encourages me. He's my husband, he's my friend, he's my love, he's my everything. Like oh. He means a lot. Now I understand that you gave up everything and come to yes. Korea to marry him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ready to give up more things. <laughs> oh, you really love him. Oh. <laughs> I can see it I loudly. Can see <laughs> you can shout out to her. I love my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Many foreigners are worried about this. Is there any problems because of your culture difference? Uh, we had some like arguments because like the the difference in cultures before I would think something and he would not really understand why I thought like this or like the other way around but it was not like a uh, big stuff it was not like big issues or something it was just small things and uh, talking about it like conversation and talking whatever is happening whatever I feel whatever he feels is, is really important to overcome any issues when you have like different cultures because any issues that comes uh, out of it is just because we don't know the other culture of the other person so talk is the most important thing yeah just I guess understanding try to always think that whatever is obvious to me and whatever is like uh, 
really, really talking and discussing everything. You cannot just assume that the other person is gonna understand, or the other person, of course, he has the same、uh, beliefs or like the same、uh, thoughts as I do because I was raised with those thoughts or like with this culture, but the other person was not. So yeah,、right. we have to talk about everything. We have to be more open and、mm. and understanding to the other person.、Mm. So yeah, you have to be patient.、Mm. Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. You have to be patient. Yeah, that's true. If you don't say, they don't understand. They don't understand. Yeah, right. Yeah, they don't know, even know about this problem.、So. Yeah, that's true. You、yeah. have to talk. Nobody can read minds. Well, I don't think that there is any like different culture between us. Maybe there is, but I don't feel it because we try to understand each other. We learn about each other cultures. We instead of fighting or something, we try to explain. This is how I think. This is how you think like that, and try to solve the problem,、and、not to make it bigger. Yeah. So you mean there is cultural differences, but you guys understand each other and talk with each other. So yeah, yeah I don't say like this is wrong, but、mm. it might be wrong in my culture, in my thinking, but it might be right for him.、Mm, like right, we try right, to understand that. Yeah. Just two different people meet. Yeah. Together, so you have to understand. Yes, that's all right.、Mm. <laughs> Next question is. Many foreigners ask me、mm-hmm. that. Yeah, they worried about this part. What is your relationship with your mother-in-law? Because in Korea,、uh, the family relationship is so much important. So, how's it? Actually, family relationship is really important in the Arab countries as well. Like, yeah, yeah,、uh, right, right. yeah, it's really, really important. I guess everywhere. Even a lot of Arab girls are worried about that after married, like yeah, mother-in-laws.、Right. Unfortunately, my mother-in-law passed away before I met my husband.、Uh, he only has his father and his grandma, and they're really, really nice to me, and I really, really like them. They're like. Super cool. They're super understanding about like everything, and I really, really love them. So I guess I was kind of lucky. Yeah, I, I lucky didn't.、Girl. Yeah, I didn't really have any problems. Yeah. yeah. In drama, or many people said that if you marry Korean guy, then your mother-in-law is like bad person. So I was so worried before I met her. I was so worried. I was like, oh my god, can she accept me? Like,、mm. oh, will she love me? Well, I had many worries, worried. but when I met her, that was really totally different. Like I, I even don't feel I'm a foreigner.、Oh. Yeah, I feel like I'm a Korean person. She doesn't make me feel like I'm a foreigner.、Oh. She treats me like her daughter. I'm just so thankful for her because the first time I came here, it was a little hard for me to adjust here in Korea, and I was missing my parents and stuff. But because she was like standing next to me, like making me feeling like she's my mom,、oh. I overcome that feeling. That. There was my husband, of course, with me, but like I had that parents' emotion, like missing. Yeah, right, right. Family. Yeah, yeah, she helped me like overcome that feeling. I really love her like my mom, and I treat her like my mom. So that if you yeah, 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 I saw in the broadcast, you, right? She treat you like weird daughter. Yeah. Not foreign wife or something. It was so much impressive. I'm so thankful. <laughs> Oh yeah. So this is the last question. If there is some people who worried about marry with another culture, then、mm-hmm. can you tell anything to them? Like an advice? Yeah. Like yeah. A, okay. Kids, <laughs> It's not easy. It's not easy marrying anybody. Actually, people are really different. So even if a person from my own culture, it's gonna be really difficult to be with that person if we don't really understand each other and like talk about everything. If we don't match, being with with someone else from like another culture is really really hard. But as I said, it's all about understanding. It's all about being open to understand each other. Be open to trying something new. You cannot expect. The other person to do all the work for you. You cannot、mm. be standing where you are and like, okay, you come to me. You know, you have to meet、mm. halfway. So you have to have mutual understanding. And I guess you have to read a lot about that culture, search、oh, a lot、oh, about yeah. culture. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And after all, if like you two as two individuals, if matching and you love each other, I guess you can do everything. Well, first for the girls who are getting married or planning to get married, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and、uh, what I'm going to say is that for international marriage in general, not just Korean or Islam country or that, in general, international marriage is a, like have some true difference when you get married to a foreign person. Just try to understand him, the, be patient instead of fighting, or like just try to calm down and have so more patience and try to understand each other. So your relationship will be more good. But before getting married, you should get to know him more. Don't just get married fast. You should know each other first. So things will go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So today I met Sal. <laughs> 
달라밖에 생각이 안 나네요. 아, 죄송합니다. 아야요. Yeah, yeah. So I met Aya. Talked about marriage with a Korean guy. Was really interesting. And... <웃음> Thank God. <웃음> I really agree that uh, when you meet another person, not only in marriage, the understanding and respect other person and mm-hmm. try to understand other people. That's really It's important really point. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for answering and come to my interview. Uh, so... Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have met Ahlam today. It was really good answer, and I hope can be informative to you if you want international marriages. I hope <laughs> my speaking was helpful for them. Right. Thank you so much, and take care, and see you. Next other content. Masalama. 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 Masalama.